Hi, my name is Mary Spender, and you are watching Tuesday Talks. <laughs> you can do it with more. No, do it. Do it. Tuesday. Unless you Tuesday really. Talks. Tuesday 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 Hi, my name is Mary Spender, and you are watching Tuesday Talks. And this is Rob Scallon. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday Talks. We are in a studio in Chicago, yeah. and we've been filming all day, which has mm -hmm. been pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, we did uh, finger style 101 or finger picking 101, depending on what we choose to. Uh, call it and then an original tune Which we don't quite maybe we have a name for it yet, but but yeah, so we just finished like that up Amy's song. Yeah, either Amy's song Amy, Amy. Who's Amy you ask? <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> have to listen to the song to find out. Yeah. Yeah, even then you won't be, yeah, <laughs> yeah, even then it's you won't be satisfied yeah, yeah, it's it's probably just a great name that rhymes But while well, the story of the riff that's the the name of the riff um, comes from I was in high school and I was hanging out with some friends and my mm -hmm. friend Amy was like Harmonics are cool. You should write something with harmonics and then immediately I played bum, 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 The intro riff Show of the off. song. That's what you are. And, then, <laughs> and so it was just like that song turned into Amy's song. Yeah. Though the lyrics are, are not about Amy. Yeah. I didn't write them. Mary did. The lyrics have been rewritten this Amy. week. We kept the chorus and then yeah, the, the, the guitar part was really Really beautiful, and it's just like this nice harmonic-y thing, but mm -hmm. you, you'll hear it. Um, yeah, I really like that tune, and I've had that riff for a really long time. It's great to hear it, like, you know, come together with a different voice, you know. Or well, it's really nice hearing it fully produced, like, straight yeah, away. Yeah. Like, it's all live, but it's very, very cool. Yeah, but I love recording in the studio, and just having an expert handle, you know. Oh, it's, a, it's definitely really a nice, nice. change. Yeah. Um, but we are holding... Your yeah. signature guitar yep. by Chapman. Mm -hmm. Look at these badass <laughs> guitars. They're so cool. So this is the six string. That's mm -hmm. the eight string. Yeah. Tell me more. So uh, the initial, we first made this one. So the um, initial goal here really was, I, I kind of see eight string as my you know home bass, my main instrument. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make an eight string that was more versatile and how it, you know, how it sounds and in how it looks, it could both do super metal stuff and play like my song Anchor and be able to, you know, excel at both. Mm -hmm. And I felt like there was a, at least, you know, at the time there, I couldn't think of a guitar or even now that's, you know, at this price range, that's kind of geared for that. It's usually if, you, if you're going they look around the, metal yeah, yeah, they're all, you know, really pointy active pickups, which is super cool. Um, but I wanted to be able to do, um, you know, more than, more than just metal on it. Mm -hmm. So, and so, so yeah. and I love the you, natural wood finish. Yeah. How did you get involved with Chapman? Ah, uh, wow! It's been—I mean, we've both been doing YouTube, YouTube for, so for you know over a mm. decade. I, I don't remember how I first found him. Probably just we knew of each other's videos for the longest time, mm -hmm. just because we've spent so much time searching guitar stuff on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So I'm—I'm I'm sure yeah, I hit him up though. I know that I just—I don't know when it was. It's like, hey, we should do something, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that's just how I met him. That's so cool. Yeah. It's really. I love the central line. Thank you. In that piece. Yeah, you know what? You know what's crazy that I haven't seen anyone comment about. If you Google the log, uh, yeah, Les Paul's first electric guitar that he mm -hmm. made. Google that, and it will look very familiar. Really? Not a single person. Yeah, if you want to Google it on your phone, and no one's mentioned it. These have been out for like two years. But did did you reference it at the time? No, <laughs> but also, well, but so, it, it was just a total coincidence. So that's a coincidence. But yeah, it's a total coincidence. But I like the, I like that it does reference it. But it looks like, again, the you know, the mahogany down the middle and the swamp ash sides. It looks just mm -hmm. like it. So that's like a, a cool extra thing about it. Though that wasn't intended, but it is a happy accident. That, is the little anchor? Is this is that the brand or is that just a little heart back to you? Uh yeah, the second. I mean, my most popular tune is anchor. Is anchor? Yeah. Well, so rain your... is probably my most popular tune, but the first song. That's cute. Yeah, but the first song that I wrote on eight string, mm -hmm. I got an eight string first. I got a Schecter Omanate as kind of a novelty because mm -hmm. someone I saw it in comments. You should get an eight string, and uh, I was like, oh, it's four hundred bucks. I'll pick it up. And I thought 
I'm gonna make one or two videos with it. It'll be this silly novelty thing. Mm -hmm. um, but then I got it and I just fell in love with it. And I wrote Anchor like, immediately when I got it. It just like, I got it in my hands and then just like with Amy's song, similarly, it just, I immediately played that riff. And so Anchor kind of, you know, represents exploring extended range amongst a bunch of other things. But that's where the Anchor comes from. It's just my song Anchor. And so Chapman, it's on the pickups. Are they Chapman pickups? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's an Anchor at the back of the headstock too. And I find that that's, you know, it's, it does represent, you know, one of my songs and, and me, but not in a way where I'm just like putting my name on it, you know? Yeah, so. no, it's, it's very tasteful guitar. I feel like it's the, the trick to a signature is for it to be able to live on without always being identifiable to the person. Yeah, yeah. Like a Les Paul and how many signatures uh -huh. that's, you know. Yeah, you so, forget that Les Paul is a person. Yeah, so <laughs> um, for this, I just think it's, I think it's really cool. It really struck you. me. I, I played it for the first time last September when we first met. Yeah. And I was, yeah, I was very, very, I just think it's very cool. Oh yeah, I also, absolutely like, love them. You know, like natural wood finishes. Yeah, I find that like when people say come over to my house and they see all the guitars on the wall and if they don't play guitar, I find that they often gravitate towards the natural finish guitars. Like, oh, yeah. that's pretty. Yeah, like, so, like, I made it. And I kind of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it's mine. Um, and then hung up on the wall, it's just a great start so I can just start bragging about it, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm super, super proud of well, these. It's a big um, achievement. It's, it's yeah, really, really I mean, cool. yeah, I feel so fortunate to be able to have them. And I love these guitars so much. So, yeah, they're just cool. Also, another thing for the design is that in videos, it's really high contrast, so they look great in videos. Done. Yeah. Master of video that you are. <laughs> yeah, talking, I mean, they're... Talking of videos, talking of rain, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite videos, most recent videos, um, is the delay. Yeah, uh, thank you. In Thanks. real form. What's it called? Uh, the title? Getting delay without using effects. Yes. Yeah. And the struggle that you go through in that video to get <laughs> that take done. Well, more Jeff and Dave. <laughs> yeah, the poor. And that's, that's because their you job is way. Job. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not saying because, oh, I, I can play it so much better. But it's because when you're playing the first, yeah. it's not tough. It's the delays that are hard. Especially Jeff had the hardest job. Yeah. And people were all missing like, that he was messing up a lot. He had the hardest job. Also, we found out like 40 takes in, Jake's behind the camera and he knows this. We found out that Dave was messing up every take until like 40, we just didn't notice. So it wasn't just Jeff. Oh, wow. Yeah, it wasn't just, it was just really, both of their jobs were really, really, really hard. Yeah, but it's, it's a great, the story of the whole video and then finally getting the take. <laughs> it was, it was a, an, a really nice uh, way to just show that. Thank and, you. Um, show how hard it is and how useful guitar pedals are, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we got it real easy. But, but um, yeah, it turned out great. Uh, Vince, who did sound that day, did an amazing job. And, mm -hmm. and the room sounded great. Yeah. And, and yeah, we very nearly didn't make it. We got there at 11.30, I think, and we had to be out of there by six. And it takes like 20, 30 minutes to pack up our stuff. And I think we got that take at like 5.15, 5.20, something like that. Mm. Like it was very, we very nearly left without getting it. Everyone was on edge. Yeah, so yeah. Like, we have to get <laughs> Yeah, and you can kind of see it in our faces. Yeah, the sense of you know? humor just starts to, uh -huh. just to disappear. Like, if we don't get this soon, we're just going to leave it empty handed. Yeah. But so every week you come up with a new idea for a new crazy video. That's the goal. How, the goal is a new video every week. We don't oh, always come on. You do, they're pretty consistent. Yeah. How do you, right. where do you start with a video? Oh man, uh, it's really all over the place. And it's not like we have a long list of video ideas. So mm -hmm. it's not necessarily like, how do you come up with the next idea? Like when you're just constantly making stuff, the ideas for the other things just kind of come along, but it's more just like facilitating the shoots and organizing mm -hmm. them. That's really difficult. Jake can tell you yeah. again behind the camera that it's a total nightmare. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like we're always kind of flying by the seat of our pants, but yeah, I don't have an answer. I'm still figuring it out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. If you yeah. actually knew the secret, then you could yeah, oh, up I knew and the, sell it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Yeah. But I think yeah. Where do we start with it? It can be anything really. A song that I'm excited about, a new genre, a new instrument, mm -hmm. or or an opportunity like, hey, we found someone who plays hurdy gurdy nearby, or yeah. we found this great new location, or a sponsor is often will be one. Like, mm -hmm. um, like in this case, we're doing one for musician, mm -hmm. and so I wrote a script, or we wrote a script, really, we did it together, and then um, wrote a script around learning finger style, but mm -hmm. it was initially came from 
uh, sponsor and yeah. trying to build a contest around. So a lot of different things. Um, sometimes they're inspirational. Sometimes they're, you know, hey, we just found this place to film and we got a day to do it. So I yeah. don't know if that answers your question. Well, it was really cool to sort of see behind the scenes this <laughs> past week and just even us coming up with ideas together, having a bit of sense of humor about it, making each other <laughs> laugh or like coming uh -huh. up with something so ridiculous that you couldn't really pull it off, but, <laughs> but then trying to and seeing yeah. what happens. It was really cool. And like the video shoot today was very fun. Yeah, today and, was a great uh, day. Maurice was a bit of a diva. But, um, <laughs> Maurice, the good, the, <laughs> the, guitar, the guitar pick, pick salesman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maurice was a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. But I love how <laughs> Maurice just seems like a, like a regular character now. Like yeah. Just, <laughs> just, a, ongoing, just a new guitar pick salesman. Yeah. Um, but that video will be in the link in the description. Um, yeah. So you should go and check that out because it's great. I yeah. hope. <laughs> we haven't seen the edit yet by the yeah, time I'm sure we're recording it's, I'm this. Sure it's we're great. still in the studio yeah. where we shot it. So it was it was really fun to make, so that usually translate and translates into yeah. the footage. There are definitely a few good outtakes too. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, thank you so much for having me in Chicago. My pleasure. This week. I am so happy it's to be been so fun. on the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if you haven't already, subscribe to Rob, mm -hmm. subscribe to me, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> yes, don't move. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Tuesday, 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 Tues